Hello, listening audience. I'm Tom Romito, board member from Western Cuyahoga Audubon Society. And it's my privilege to be sitting here today at the uh, Lake Erie Science and Nature Center with Matthew Schumar, an ecologist with the Ohio Bird Conservation Initiative. Matt, it's a pleasure to be with you today. Yeah, thanks for having me out, Tom. It's our pleasure. And what we're doing, folks, is giving you a preview of the presentation you're going to see at Western Cuyahoga Audubon Society on in the first Tuesday of March. So Matt, please tell me uh, to start off with, what are you passionate about? Um, the natural world and, and really finding ways to connect people to the natural world um, and on a deeper level. So um, it's great and I, I got started with some environmental education early in my career, but um, I was sort of curious and passionate for a deeper connection, not just knowing what those birds are that are seeing behind us right now, um, like that northern cardinal, <laughs> but really why that bird is here and, and why it's singing um, so exuberantly and, and, and what that means um, and teaching people about that. Well, thank you, Matt. Now, I, I introduced you to our listening audience as an ecologist. Mm -hmm. Could you give us a, a, a framework as to what an ecologist does. Yeah, so I, I use that term as a, a general sense, really an understanding or a scientist who studies the, the natural system, uh, the uh, ecosystem. Um, all, while we all have our expertise in, in um, more refined systems that we work in, and, and much of my work is with birds, so, so ornithology, these are really um, intertwined systems, and to understand why that cardinal's there, we have to know um, the habitat surrounding it, um, when the insects are coming out and providing food source for the young, and so it's um, really uh, a scientist who, who really looks closely at the, our natural world. Well, thank you again. So tell me, um, I know that you're associated with the Ohio Bird Conservation Initiative. Mm -hmm. Could you please tell our listening audience uh, what that is? Sure. Um, the Ohio Bird Conservation Initiative, or OBCI, um, is a partnering organization, and we work with state and federal wildlife agencies as well as non-governmental agencies, groups like the Nature Conservancy, um, Columbus Audubon, uh, Western Cuyahoga Audubon Society, um, to further bird conservation efforts in, in the state. Oh, wonderful. Well, tell me, uh, can you give us uh, just a snapshot of what you're going to present to the Western Cuyahoga Audubon Society? Yeah, so I'll be talking a little bit about the Ohio Breeding Bird Atlas and how the data collected by volunteers, um, how we've been able to analyze that to understand how changes in climate and land cover throughout the state of Ohio have affected bird distributions and populations. And then beyond that, what we're doing with that information, uh, how we're continuing to explore it and uh, inform um, conservation decisions and things that we do at OBCI um, to further bird conservation. Now, you, you mentioned the um, Breeding Bird Atlas. Um, now, that's a compendium of all the data from that survey, isn't it? Do you, do you happen to have that with you? I, I, I do happen to have that with me right now. Um, so here's oh, a look copy at this, of, folks. of the, the, the book right here. That's wonderful. Make a, a wonderful Christmas present. <laughs> okay, Matt. Well, um, tell me um, preparation for your presentation to Western Cuyahoga Audubon. What would you like uh, our, our potential audience to know, think, and do? Well, um, think about um, how changes in our how changes that we've observed in our own lifetimes, um, we've seen a lot for instance this winter has been incredibly mild. Um, we've seen changes in leaf out earlier in the year and how those sorts of cumulative effects um, can change bird distributions in, in bird populations. Um, changes occurring um, all around us and it has been for a very long time. And um, so people coming um, can hopefully get a better idea about some of those changes that may have occurred uh, over the last 20 to 25 years um, and how we have maybe helped um, 
exacerbate or mitigate some of those changes. So some of those changes are, are due to uh, climate change. Right? Certainly, yeah. And also land use and development. Yeah, land use has had um, an incredible change on um, bird distributions, some for worse, but some for better. Um, you know, a lot of species have expanded throughout the state because of increasing agriculture or um, more dense forests now in southeastern Ohio, for instance. And briefly, wh what can people do about all of these changes? There are so many things that people can do, and, and hopefully um, some of the background in the talk will, will help to illuminate some of those things. But everything that we do from the consumer choices that we make um, to how we vote in elections uh, really has a very large impact. Um, so starting to think about some of those questions about some of the practices that we do, um, how, how that might um, you know, affect some of those. Wonderful. That's going to be very exciting. Well, there you have it, folks. Please come to Western Cuyahoga Audubon's meeting coming up and hear Matthew Schumar present on this whole topic. Thanks for watching.